In this video, I'm going to show how to use Garmin Homeport to create your own custom map and using some of the features within Garmin Homeport that gives you new possibilities to edit these files. So this is the new Fish and Spots map and it only shows Fish and Spots. It doesn't show any of the other data that's available. This is a new page using our new mapping system. So for example, do a lot of cards in different areas, but one of the areas that we have the most spots is for Miami, Florida. So I'm going to do a search. And as you can see, that there's lots of different spots here in Miami. And this right here is the legend, and I'll tell you some of the different kind of spots. And you can uh, click on those and it might tell you some more information. But for this, we're looking for a download. That's Miami, Florida. And you can see there's 14,290 spots here. I'm going to download these files. Extracted those files. So now in Garmin Homeport, I'm going to create a new list. And I want to import those files. In this case, I am uploading the GPX file. A lot of fishing spots, over 14,000 in this case, and it will take a little bit for Garmin Home Port to load them in. All right, spots have loaded. If I drill into the area, you'll see there's lots of spots. Most GPS units won't hold 14,000 spots. Uh, for example, a brand new Garmin is only going to hold 5,000 spots. So in this case, we need to remove a lot of spots to get this file down to something that's usable for a Garmin unit. So here's some of the little tips that I suggest that you can use. So, for example, if we're fishing down here in Miami, probably not going to run all the way up here to fish. So, I can use this tool and I can select big area. And let's just say right there is Boca. I want to cut it off at Boca. I'm not going to fish any further north than there. So, out of that, from 14,294. We just dropped you know, over 4,000 spots. I'm going to do the same. Let's clean up some of this. And you see it's really easy to, to start decreasing, culling some of these spots. There's a lot down here, but let's say I'm not going to go any further than roughly Key Largo area here. That drops me down to 7,000 spots. Now I can certainly go through here and start cleaning up some of these uh, inshore spots if I don't didn't want to. Um, I can visually go through the list and find stuff. Um, some of the low hanging fruit, for example, that would be easy to remove is uh, obstructions. Uh, a lot of the obstructions will already be on whatever chart that you're using. So I can like select all of these obstructions. There's only 52. That puts me a little closer. Um, there should also be some obstructions that are in the uh, racks here, for example. And yeah, there's a few there, 29. 
So anyway, I'm decreasing. That's one way you can pick out specific kinds of spots by name. Um, you can also do things uh, in here, like I know in uh, Florida, one of the uh, areas towards uh, the south of Miami, when you start getting down to Key Largo and all, they have lots of patch reefs. And you can see here, there's a ton of patch reefs. Uh, I could spend some more time cleaning up some other areas, but in this case, I know there's thousand or better uh, patch reefs. So I can go down here and select this. Once again, it's a whole bunch of spots. It says 4,000. I'm already down to 3,200 spots that'll fit on a garment. Another request I get is how to remove spots within an X distance from offshore. So for example, let's just come into here. I want to say I want to remove some spots that are within, uh, uh, let's just call it 10 miles here from the beach. So I can use this uh, measuring tool to kind of get an idea where 10 miles is off the beach. And then I can come back over here and select and remove. Uh, what's nice about the Garmin home port is it also allows uh, me to uh, sort these all by uh, icon. So, for example, maybe I don't want boat ramps. So I can select these boat ramps and remove. I can create a new list. Call it subset there. And I can select multiple coordinates let's say let's, let's say I just want to get over here and get the uh, Bahamas here so I can take just those and drop and then from Miami now I got a Bahamas card it just has Bahamas spots over here so lots of different options of how to like really remove spots real quickly to get them down to a manageable uh, rate. Uh, what you'll notice is uh, in some cases you just don't want certain spots. You can just select them and then hit the delete button. Select, hit delete. And uh, it's a real quick way just to remove stuff that you don't need as well as get a better idea of what's available. Once you're happy with your list of fishing spots, it's really easy to get those onto an SD card into the unit. I'm going to stick a new card right into my computer. All right, so I stuck a uh, SD card in here. And to get these spots on my unit, all I got to do is select this, drag, and drop right onto the memory card. And I can call, rename it, and call it Miami Fishing Spots. And now all I have to do is take this card to my Garmin unit, put it in there, and most of the new Garmin units will automatically see this file and ask you if you want to import it in. But even if it doesn't, it's a really easy, and you can check out the instructions on the website. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and thank you for using Fishing Status.